For now, Susan Acosta gives back by preparing dinner. Paying for being here. Yeah. <laughs> and her laugh has slowly come back after leaving her devastated home two weeks ago. I have a roof on top of my head. I have food. My kids are happy. That's all I need. Sue and her two children, Paula and Aiden, moved in with Sunset Park friends following the wrath of Hurricane Maria, hardly having any time to say goodbyes before catching the first flight out they could. Like, I couldn't say goodbye only to my best friend. That's the only person I said goodbye to. And I went home to pack. Packing their whole lives into just two suitcases. When she tells me I'm only bringing this, I was really shocked. The decision didn't come easily to Paula's mother, but Susan says she couldn't risk the children falling behind. Their school lies in ruins. You see, this is cement. It was Susan's mother, still on the island, who told them to leave. But Sue's hardly spoken to her since. Actually, that's the hardest part. Yeah. Not being able to talk to them and to actually tell them we are okay. In fact, better than she ever thought they would be. Though the family all shares this room, Susan has a job on the way, and the kids are already enrolled at schools they seem to like. Aiden says he knows they are better off, and he's grateful. But just days ago, he celebrated his birthday in Brooklyn without his friends. Making new friends again is kind of a hassle. Do you miss your friends from home? Uh, I do. Yeah. On their first Sunday here, the family went to their new church, St. Michael's, just down the block. Tears flowed down Susan's face. Not a cry of sadness, it was a cry of, we made it. 